pretty bummed out that I got to redo this, uh, this video that I was trying to find, um, that I recorded a couple months ago. Um, just letting you guys know, uh, I guess how I got started, um, you know, with the current, my current latest venture with Sea Urge Luxury. Um, I recorded the video a couple months ago, uh, back in February, February or March. Uh, one of those months I was celebrating, um, you know, me paying off the, um, my biggest investment, which was the Bentley. The Bentley was the biggest investment. Um, you know, it's my third Bentley actually. A lot of you guys may not know that, but, um, you know, I got started a couple years back in 2014, December, um, you know, just visiting, um, uh, visiting car shops, actually, um, the uh, exclusive automotive group down in Virginia to look at an Aston Martin because I already made my mind up um, that, you know, I was going to dive into the concierge uh, chauffeur industry. Um, took my brother down there with me. He's kind of tall. People were telling me that, um, you know, the, the Aston Martin seats are kind of small in the back. I should try the Bentley. And, um, you know, I went down there with my brother, had him sit in the back seat of the Aston once we seen it. Um, we both loved it, but, uh, you know, I asked him, how's the um how's the rear seats and he said the rear seats are kind of tight so i knew that was a no-go that wouldn't be the right vehicle and um one of the finance directors told my sales guy to show me the bentley and i was like whoa <laughs> bentley seriously okay you know i like that too um you know i drove it around drove beautiful um you know i rode in the back seat Pride was lovely. And um I was like, man, this is it. You know, this 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 is what I'm gonna do. Um, you know, I'm gonna roll in a Bentley. I said, cool. Um, it's Saturday. Um you might not get approved today, but um worst case scenario, if you do get approved, it'll probably go through Monday and we'll just ship the car to you. You know, from Virginia up to where you are. I said, all right, cool. Um I left for roughly about 30 minutes. Um, I was going to a friend of mine's birthday, um, child's birthday party in Virginia. Got a call from the sales guy. He said, you've been approved. Do you want the car now? And I was like, whoa, now you want to give me the car now? Give me one second. So I called up, um, you know, one of the guys who I was dealing with that um, I had him and his artist in a Phantom um, from another company that I was dealing with at the time. Uh, when I was just building up my network before I actually jumped out there. And uh, I said, hey, look, I know we couldn't get you the Phantom that you had Friday for, for today, which was Saturday. But I can get you in the Bentley right now. You just got to let me know. Uh, he said, what kind? I said, um, it's a flying spur black one. He said, I got a, um, he said, a black one? What, co what color interior? I said, black interior. So you got to let me know now. He said, yeah, get it. Called up my sales guy. I said, man, I'm on the way. Come get it. He said, cool. We're cleaning it up now. Got there, jumped inside the vehicle. Didn't even know how to work all the buttons. He showed me so quick. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm I've never been in a Bentley, you know, so, uh, you know, I pulled off, didn't know how to work the mirrors. I had to call him. I'm like, hey, my, the mirrors are still folded. <laughs> how do I unfold the mirrors? So he's like, hey, there's a little button down there. Okay, how you operate the surge radio? He showed me how to work that. And, um, you know, it was it was a crazy night. Me and bro was out there with, with the uh, with, you know, my first clients, artists. Um, you know, it, it it was it was an eye open moment. Um, and for me, like, I was just in shock. Like, man, this is really happening. This is really happening. You know, got home. Um, I think the next that following Monday. I had put in my two weeks notice at my job. I told him I'm leaving. I actually cried on the way driving there. Like, in shock. Like, yo, this is crazy. I, I can't believe it. But yeah, I put in my two weeks notice. After a couple of days, my boss was like, look, man, I'll pay you for those two weeks. Ain't no point of you being here. You know, um, I, you following your dreams, go for it. Cool. You know, I mean, I was grinding sun up to sundown every day, just like I was you know, working a full-time job, so nothing really changed. Just building, grinding, going to hotels and casinos and pretty much just building, building, building. And um, 
And I got side swiped like three months afterwards. Like week after I had my first client. My first client only made like 200 bucks, took him to an airport. He even said that I was charging too little. He's like, 200 bucks. Like, man, I'm getting a Bentley to go all the way down there to the airport. Oh, like, yeah, you're going on a special. I mean, I didn't know really my worth then. And plus, uh, it's been, what, two and a half, almost three months without making a dollar. You know, my, my bank account is going lower, 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 lower. So I got to make something happen. So cool. Um, yeah, I got sideswiped. And the car wound up being totaled. It wasn't even a lot of damage, but I guess since it cost so much. Um, to repair this type of vehicle, he deemed it as total. I said, okay, I got prom coming up, um, prom season coming up, it's March. Um, called my sales guy, I said, man, you won't believe this is total. Can you find me another one? He said, yeah, I can find you another one. He called me back like, I found you one. This is probably like the end of April, right before prom season. Had everybody all lined up, started, you know, started getting people booked, and um. He got me in it, like the end of April. Um, I left, I think he got me in it that Saturday. I left like that Tuesday to go to the um, go to the big fight down in Vegas with um, Mayweather and um, Pacquiao. And came back, about to, you know, get finished networking and everything like that. Um, on my way to D.C., I was coming down, uh, traveling down Northern Parkway, and I heard a bunch of crash noises. Crash, crash, crash. I look at, I look behind me like, oh, snap. It's a dump truck plowing through all these cars. I try my best to ooze, squeeze over, squeeze over so it doesn't hit me. Boom. Smack me. And I'm just in days like, this is not happening. Not again. Not again. I had this car maybe for two weeks. It's not happening. I drove down, looked at the damages. The damages was even worse than the first one, so I knew it was total. And I just was like, man, this is this can't be life. I called my mom, like, Ma, you won't believe what happened. I'm done, I'm about to give up. Like, you know, my money's running low. Like, I don't know if I can do this. She like, yo, just stick with it. Just stick with it. And um, I did. Called my sales guy damn, almost in, in tears. Like, you won't believe what happened. Find me another one. He's like, man, we got to get you in another color or something. Your luck is crazy. I said, man, see if you can find me another one. Um, he unfortunately wasn't able to find me another one in due time, and I needed one quick. And, you know, I missed the whole prom season. I had to, you know, refund, like, almost 5K in, in, um, you know, in, uh, in, in, in bookings. Um it was just, it was terrible. But, you know, I still had the fire in my eye. Like, man, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. And um, found another one up in New Jersey at my guys at FC Curvet. And, um, you know, it, it was a great deal. Hopped on it and rolling ever since. You know, it hasn't always been a sweet journey. It's been, it's been some rocky roads. Um, some ups and downs, but, you know, every time I got down, like, close to my, I mean, it's been two times I was close to, like, having less than 200 bucks in my account, and to run a business like this, you need some money, and, um, you know, checks just dropped in my lap, you know, five-figure checks on two occasions, um, you know, once the first time it happened, I had the faith that, you know, if it ever happened again, you know, I know I'll be good. And once it happened the second time, I was like, God, don't fail me now. You came through before. Can you do it again? I know you will. I know you will. And, um, you know, of course he did. Of course he did. So, um, actually, as I'm telling you this, um, you know, just keeping the faith. I mean, th things aren't, th things are good right now, but, you know, it ain't, it is, it's not sweet. You know, we got other things we're trying to do and, um, you know, other other things we're trying to add on to, um, you know, on, on to the process and to the, uh, the, the the building phase of, you know, me just being an all around entrepreneur. Um, it's, it's just a nonstop grind, nonstop grind. But, um, you know, the, the, one of the biggest investments was the vehicle and that being paid off does help out a lot um, so that we can maneuver, um, you know, maneuver around 
that uh, the allocated budget to go towards other things to help out the business and other businesses that I'm involved in as well. Um, so, you know, it's a great journey. It's a great journey. I love it. And um, can't wait to see what's next. Can't wait to see what's next. I know a lot of, lot of in store, um, you know, for me. I mean, I'm only 35. This, this is 2019. I'm, I'm curious to see what 2030 is going to look like. You know, 2009, just 10 years ago. Um, to this date, you know, I wasn't married. Um, on my way to get married, I was living in my uh, my mom's house, sharing a room with my brother. You know, just 10 years ago. To five years later in 2014, you know, married. Um, you know, a homeowner. Had a Benz, you know, I, you know, me being a car guy, loving cars, um, you know, started a business, had a Bentley, um, thing, things can happen just like that, you know, so um, just continue to keep the faith, uh, you guys that's watching, um, it's a time capsule, because when this get released, it's going to be in the future, so this is great for, you know, myself to look at and, uh, you know, my, my daughter, and if I have any other kids to look at and people who know me to look at um, and people who's just watching the journey just to see where I came from. Um, just a little insight for, for everyone. So stay tuned. See you guys soon.